What we've seen so far is the bond market and indeed the stock market is pricing in growth. They're anticipating what this president is talking about will actually work. Pull back on regulations, change this archaic tax code, lower the corporate rate, get rid of some of the corporate culture or corporate welfare out there, and eliminate this repatriation tax. Look, business knows that's going to work. And I'll tell you the other thing, consumer confidence is ebbing up ever so slightly right now. So we're on the cusp of a, of a real turnaround here, I think, Sarah. But when it comes to the divisions in the party, can you just address that? Because yep. it's happening on health care. It's happening within the very issue you speak of around the border adjustment tax. I know you're not in favor of it, but some of the most senior members of your party, including House Speaker Ryan, is. Well, we're at the debate stage now, but we have a president that's been in office, what, seven weeks now or so. And I have full confidence that this president, if we can uh, impl implement his agenda, we're going to get this economy going. What we have going on right now in the Senate, though, is I'm concerned about people who are so concerned about getting to perfect that we're not going to get to an 80 percent solution that gets this economy going. I believe that health care and taxes are the two issues of the day that will get the economy going, in addition to pulling regulations back. So what we've got to do, I think, in the Senate is put self-interest aside and focus on the national interest. What really is going to be necessary to grow this economy? It's not that complicated. Yes, but you know how the sausage gets made. So let's talk about the border adjustment tax. You called it regressive, hammers consumers, shuts down economic growth, and has proven to grow the federal government. How are you going to convince your fellow Republicans of that? And then how does tax reform and lower corporate taxes get paid for? Well, I think we've already convinced the Senate that the, that the border adjustment tax is a bad idea. Look, I watched this in Europe. I lived over there. And, and when they did something very similarly, uh, it caused uh, really the economy to shut down and also their government grew dramatically. So this is the only reason we're talking about border adjustment tax right now is to pay for the corporate re rate reduction, the uh, re elimination of uh, repatriation and the reduction of uh, individual rates. Well, that comes out of the scoring mechanism up here behind the CBO. And there are ways that we can deal with that. I just think that we should not put a bad idea along with these great ideas the president wants to Im implement because that'll, that'll cause us to really shut down this opportunity we have to really change our tax structure, get this economy going again. Uh, but, Senator, I think proponents of the border adjustment tax would say, well, we face it all the time when our goods are sold overseas in the form of a, of a VAT. Yeah, well, you know, that's a very, very shallow argument because here's the reality. What we should be talking about is trade. Look, individual tax reform, corporate tax reform, repatriation tax elimination, and bilateral trade will absolutely put us on a level playing field. To create a level playing field, we don't need to do it in our own corporate tax structure. Let me tell you why. Because we have different trade agreements with most of these countries. So one tax change won't give us a level playing field with everybody out there. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.